Hey everyone, this is Sidhu Raman and we are back with another video where we discuss, explain and talk about Web3 stuff. In this video, we are going to talk about peer-to-peer -peer networks. One of the most common definitions of a peer-to-peer -peer network is one in which every computer in the network is directly connected to one another. Now, this definition is not wrong, but the problem is it doesn't capture the complete essence of a peer-to-peer -peer network. You see, a peer-to-peer -peer or P2P network is all about equality. Here, the total workload or the functionality of the network is distributed across all the computers that are part of the network and in doing so, no single computer or system in that network can claim to be more vital than the rest, nor can they claim complete control over the network. In a peer-to-peer -peer network, a computer is free to act as both providers and consumers of a service and the service can include everything from data processing, data storage and even providing pirated content. Now, this kind of a network structure is vastly different from what we are used to. Normally, in a network, the process of providing a service and the process of consuming that service is handled by separate systems of computers and in such a structure, if the system that provides a service decides to abruptly stop providing that service, well, too bad for us. But such a situation will never take place in a peer-to-peer -peer network as the service will be handled by multiple peers or computational systems and if one of them goes down, the entire network is not affected. Also, in a traditional network structure, as the number of service consuming systems increases, it adds more load to the systems providing the service. But in a peer-to-peer -peer network, the increase in the number of systems leads to an increase in the overall capacity of the network. So, when we say peer-to-peer -peer network, we mean an interconnected set of computers with equal control and responsibility over the network functionalities. That's right, it is a politically, architecturally and sometimes even logically decentralized group of computers. Got it? Great. See you in the next one.